Let's do differential equations. If you've gotten until this point, you know that differential equations are something very used in pretty much every branch of science. And they are pretty cool and, well, they are a pretty big branch of mathematics. They have their own semesters in college. So this is pretty big and for now we're just going to go with some basic, very basic information so that you can get the main idea of a differential equation. So let's do it. Let's say we have the following example. If we have dy over dx, and let's say we're going to add to this 3x, and this is going to be equal to, uh, let's say, 7, okay? Now, you might be wondering, okay, okay, what is this? Now, this is something that you may not be familiar with just yet, but this is a differential equation. And now, the solution to a differential equation, in this case, is going to be to find y. We need to find y, okay? If we find how much y is, we have solved this differential equation. Now, I'm going to show you something that you may be way more familiar with. What if we say that dy over dx is going to be, we can move this, this 3x to the other side of the equation, okay? This is a normal equation. You're not playing anything weird or anything that you don't know about. This is just a normal equation. So you can do minus 3x plus 7, okay? This works out. Now, this is something you're probably a bit more familiar with. You know that, well, sometimes you're going to take a derivative of something and you're going to get things like this, that dy over dx is a function, okay? You know that. Now, you know that if you took the derivative of y with respect to x, you're going to get a function that if you integrate it, that is, if you reverse everything you did with differentiation, well, then you can find y, okay? I remember that we need to find y. This is a differential equation in which we are relating that the derivative of y plus 3x is going to be equal to 7. And now we need to find how much y is. And now we isolated the derivative, and then we're going to integrate. So we could say that y is going to be equal to the indefinite integral or the antiderivative of minus 3x plus 7 with respect to x, okay? And now we just need to evaluate this integral. So we're going to have that uh, y is going to be equal to, so you know this, we just simply add 1 to the exponent and divide by that exponent. So this is going to be minus 3 times x squared over 2 plus 7. And remember, when you have a constant, you need to add x because it's when you took the derivative, that x went to 1, so you just got the constant. So this is going to be 7x. And don't forget, plus c, okay? Any constant you have will go to 0, so it won't appear uh, here. Now, this is y, basically. <laughs> so what did we just do right here? We had a differential equation. We had the derivative of y. And now, well, we, we wanted to find, going on from this information, how much y is. And what we did, well, we just simply integrated this equation that we have up here, okay? Down here, actually, yeah, down here. Now, if you really want to prove that this, so this y or this equation, that y is equal to this expression, is a solution for this differential equation, well, what you can do is just simply differentiate this and see if you get back to the same equation, which in this case would be this one. This equation is this same equation, but we just rearrange it. Okay, now let's differentiate that real quick. So I need to do that in red. So we could say this is going to be some sort of like a proof. Now the derivative of that, so let's see how much we get. So dy over dx, and I'm actually, yeah, you know, you know how much y is, so I'm not going to write the expression. So now the derivative of this, we know we're going to take down two, this is just the power rule, and that two is going to cancel out. I'm actually gonna write it so you see it. Uh, three times two x, over 2 plus this x goes to 1 and c is going to go to 0. I'm going to write the 0 so you know there was something else which is just the c. And in this case we're just going to get that dy over dx is just simply these two twos they're going to go out and you're going to get minus 3x plus 7. And you can see that this is the exact same equation that we have in here. Okay? 
we just solved this differential equation and it was something pretty easy. We didn't do anything crazy. If you know some integration and you know some derivatives, this is nothing new to you. Okay, you just simply had a derivative, you moved one term to the other side. Now, well, this is a differential equation. And how do we solve the differential equation? Well, we gotta find y, basically. That is how all of this works. So I hope you learned something. I hope you got some notion of differential equations now. Now you, know, now you know that at least you need to find the function, the initial function, and you can prove that by doing some steps. Sometimes you need to take maybe the second order derivatives, the second derivative, and see if it works out. Or you can just simply sometimes take the first derivative of any function or any possible general solution. That's the name, actually. This is a general solution for the differential equation. If you differentiate the, gen the general solution, then you should get back to your differential equation. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the following one.